All right, folks, this is my first ever all willow wood uh, ukulele, and I bought it for that reason. It's figured willow all the way around, really beautiful wood. Look at that, and every one looks different, and I have two models just to show you the difference in the finish, but this is just a beautiful figure on this wood, and it sounds good too. I've never had a willow ukulele before. So there's the uh, cutaway um, concert, and it's got sort of a, a scooped, uh, I think it's rosewood, yeah, it looks like rosewood, or walnut maybe, um, cutaway scoop there, which is becoming quite popular with um, um, uh, newer ukuleles. They don't cut, cut away the whole top, they just sort of scoop it out so you can get to these higher frets. And then the armrest made of the same wood, and we've had a couple of ukuleles in recent videos um, that ha are sort of subscribing to this new way of um, presenting ukuleles. This has a sandalwood board, which is also new to me. It's a nice hardwood. It, f it, it feels and plays a bit like that baked maple rosy acre that they were using uh, during the rosewood band. It's got a slotted headstock, which is becoming slightly more common now for concerts. Uh, usually you'd only see them on tenors with the sort of vintage open geared button tuners, which I like. It's got nice that they've matched the facing on the headstock. This is made by ADM, which stands for All Days Music. And they're sort of a, a, a budget musical instrument uh, company. They might make some higher end stuff, but the things I see tend to see online are the student grade models. The only reason why I grabbed this is because uh, of the willow. And actually, it is a, a really nice ukulele. It sounds great. Probably not as dark as the cedar models that I had recently, but for a hardwood uke, I think it's got a nice plinky tone. Um, I don't see a model number in these. If I if I can figure it out, I will uh, put it on the description. But um, it's uh, the listing on Amazon for these doesn't include a model number. Uh, looks like JBH121. I can't tell. But anyway, just to show you how these are different from model to model, uh, from uh, um, instrument to instrument, here's two of them. And look at the difference in the figuring. Look at that beautiful dark section at the bottom of this one. And if I turn it, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Really beautiful. Um, probably laminate, but it sounds good. And it's, it's, it feels like a very sturdy ukulele. Um, the thing about these, and I'm going to be honest with you, setup. They need lots of setup. Uh, I really have to grind these fret ends down and um, taper the fret ends, uh, which hung over the uh, fretboard, probably because they've come from Asia and the sandalwood shrank and the metal frets do not. So I had to do some fret cleanup. The action was fine, and it does look like they have bone nuts and saddles on these. Um, I like the way they did the etching around the sound hole, which is quite nice. And just very simple um, lines around. No major binding on this, which I think really accentuates this wood really well. You probably can't see the armrest wood too well in this light, but it matches the scooped out um, cutaway uh, piece here. Very attractive ukuleles, these. Really nicely done. And sounding uh, rather good. There's the other one. Uh, really nice looking ukes, but they sound decent. Uh, they're not high end, so don't expect Kamaka quality. Uh, but for I, th I think you know in the eighty to one hundred and twenty dollar price range, uh, and where these fluctuate, uh, I think I, th I think these are perfectly adequate. They come with Aquila strings. I've done a bit of. Uh, set up on these to make them play better um, So I just wanted to show you these they're made by ADM. They're all willow wood uh, concert ukuleles Okay, folks See you next time